Hi folks, I'm back with another video just to briefly demonstrate something I've observed about the game Assetto Corsa, especially on Linux, and then also just to show Mango HUD in action. That run, that's a, like a benchmarker for, for frames per second, etc., game performance in Linux, and then also just a brief word about Lutris. Don't worry too much about the screens that are flying past here. This is just the benchmarks that I did and I'll show a summary in a, in a few seconds as to what I found between them. The idea of the benchmark is it's just to remove the variables that people might have set individually when they're playing and setting up the game. So the benchmark gives an even comparison that you can compare, for example, then also between different computers, different players, that sort of thing, um, just for comparative purposes. And if you look at this comparative screen where I've summarized everything, what you can see is that the GPU does make probably the biggest difference. Although the Core i7 was my older CPU and the AMD was the newer one, the biggest difference you see actually is the GPU on the frames per second. What you've also got to note though is once the apps are included on the HUD, on the heads up display on a set of Corsa, the frames per seconds drop quite dramatically. So what I was finding was on the slowest one that you see here, for the Core i7 and the GTX 660 graphics card, its max was 27 frames per second. Once you've added a couple of apps to the HUD, it just about becomes unplayable. So remember, the Windows speeds are going to appear a bit faster here because Windows is running directly to the GPU. On the Linux side, it has to first trans... This is a Windows game. So on Linux, it's translating everything into Vulkan drivers and so on to, to transmit to the graphics card. It's not working directly. It's got another layer in between. Therefore, you are going to expect it to be a bit slower. And it's, so it's more noticeable on the Linux side when you've added apps on the HUD. If you look at the video here, what you're going to see now, note also in the top right of the corner, is the Mango HUD overlay. So that's a Linux version of a benchmarking application that just shows how your performance is working while you're actually playing the game. And you can see the speeds here. What I'm showing at the moment was when I pulled away, I am, I have got the heads up on at the moment. There's two apps, Sidekick, just above the dashboard on the car. And on the bottom right is Pro Tires. So those are two apps that are running at the moment. And you'll see now, as I'm speaking now, I've just pressed Control H to turn off the HUD or the heads up display. Now suddenly with no apps, you can observe the frame rate on the top right there. You can see the FPS rate has just jumped to show that the frames per second has improved quite dramatically. And then just for comparison purposes as well, I've just included this little clip. Same track, Le Mans, with the Corvette, but it is in R Factor 2. And what you can note here on the top right is that the frames per second is quite a bit faster. So irrespective of the fact that there is actually an app, the tires app that's showing on the bottom right and so on, it has got overlays active. It's not as badly affected as a set of Corsa. And then just one last thing to show you here really is Lutris. Lutris is quite an interesting installer. So games like Assetto Corsa are notoriously difficult to try and install and tweak and configure to get them to work on Linux. If you're using Wine or something like that, it's, it's not that easy. You, you've got quite a lot of things you've got to install and set to make it work. With Lutris, this is Lut what Lutris does. But effectively, if you look at this screen, Lutris has got a one-click installer. You can choose whichever one of these two you want. I've gone for the top one. I literally clicked it, sat back, let it do the installation that it needed to do, and when it had finished, I clicked and I powered up and I started playing the game. The only other thing maybe of interest was that there are one or two other little tweaks you can do to make it actually perform a little bit better. But in essence, it still boils down to your GPU and to your... CPU power, I suppose, and you're going to feel it a little bit more on the Linux side than on the Windows side. 
But anyway, I hope you found that interesting. It was just to sort of highlight that some it's not always the actual raw horsepower of your machine. Sometimes there are settings and tweaks in the game that can make quite a, quite a drastic difference on your performance. And it's worth sometimes switching them off and just seeing how the game performs because it can often lead, uh, you know, it can often be related a lot more to settings than, than just purely your CPU or anything else. So yeah, okay, that's basically it. Um, enjoy your day further and I'll see you in the next video.